And first, I want to thank everyone for attending Jenna Goodman's uh, kickoff rally for Lieutenant Governor of California. Yay! Oh, thank you, thank you. We will be running a very grassroots campaign focusing primarily on college campuses. Um, her campaign will only be as successful as we all make it, so your support here today means everything to us. Um, I want to first recognize um, a couple people here today on Jenna's campaign team. Uh, first, Russell K. Yang Yang. He's a, Russ was a former chair of the um, City of Vallejo Youth Commission, um, previous student trustee. Um, when I um, ran for his position after he stepped down, I became the second green student trustee in a row to serve on the Napa Valley College Board Trustee. So we consider that to be an accomplishment. Um, I also want to recognize uh, Kevin Hume, um, who also is on her uh, campaign team, also happens to be her boyfriend. So <laughs> thank you, Kevin. Go, Kevin. <laughs> also, if anyone here wants some campaign literature, we have brochures um, over there on the steps. Uh, we have buttons available, um, a dollar um, donation, and uh, we have voter registration forms in case you want to register to vote or join the Green Party. And I wanted to briefly talk a little bit about the Green Party. Uh, the Green Party is a political party founded on the pillars of social justice, ecology, and grassroots democracy, and nonviolence. We do not accept any corporate money which means we are not beholden to corporate interests. And uh, this allows us to represent the needs of ordinary people. As a party, we have always been about providing a political voice in government to the social movements on the streets fighting for social justice, equality, and the environment. And we are a global political party. And when you look at countries that use uh, proportional representation um, to elect, um, to, to do their elections, you do see Greens getting elected. Um, in the United States, of course, we face an uphill battle as a smaller party under a winner-takes-all system. Um, in California, Prop 14, which establishes um, established an open primary system where the top two vote-getters get to move on to the general election, um, that's put all the smaller parties at a, a, a great disadvantage because it essentially removes the possibility of smaller party candidates being on the general election ballot um, except for the rarest of conditions. And this effectively removes one of the ways that smaller parties have been able to stay on the ballots. Um, that was um, for our candidates for statewide office to receive 2% of the votes. Um, that means the only way for the Green Party to stay on the ballot is to keep our voter, voter registration numbers up. Um, currently, our voter, voter, voter registration numbers have to equal 1% of the people who vote in the gubernatorial election. And uh, so Jenna's campaign is about providing students, the poor, working class, the environment, and all marginalized groups um, marginalized by the political system with a voice. These are voices that are absent from the political debate. Through her campaign, Jenna Goodman intends to provide these groups with a political voice and build political power by uniting student, the student movement, uh, working class interests, and environmentalism into a coalition that can push for legislation and public policy that the current Democratic and Republican parties are not offering. Um, Goodman contends that as a Green, she's the only viable option available to voters who want to build a political alternative to the Democratic-Republican stranglehold on government in California uh, to put people and planet first. Um, Jenna has um, two, um, there, there, well, there's some of her top challengers uh, for the race include the Covenant Dem Democrat uh, Gavin Newsom and Republican Ron Neering. Ron Neering is the former chair of the Republican Party of California. Nearest, uh, Nearing's highest office um, in elected government was as a governing member of the Grossmont Union High School District. Goodman believes her service in government as president of the Associate Students of Napa Valley College and um, as a current um, college student herself provides her with a better understanding of higher education issues compared to her um, Republican competitor. And then uh, Gavin Newsom, who is the Democratic incumbent, um, he ran against a Green candidate before. Um, in 2003, he ran against uh, Matt Gonzalez, who was a Green uh, for mayor of San Francisco, and um, um, Gonzalez almost won. Um, Newsom also has deep ties with uh, big business and corporate interests, and he has said that he believes government needs to operate more entrepreneur, in other words, like a business. And uh, Jenna Goodman, on the other hand, believes government should operate like a democracy. <laughs> uh, the Green Party is the electoral voice for everyday people fighting for social justice, equal rights, and environmental justice. And the Green Party has always been about building a bridge between social movements on the streets, 
um, with electoral action in the halls of power. And this is exactly the type of bridge that Jenna Goodman intends to build with her campaign. Um, as a student leader, as a Green, and as a friend, I'm thrilled that Jenna Goodman has decided to run for Lieutenant Governor of California. As a candidate, she is qualified, credible, and has the courage to put forth uh, a, bold a bold green vision for California. Her campaign has the potential to put students, working class people, and the environment into the forefront of the political debate in California. And um, I worked closely with Jenna during um, my term as president when she was um, uh, public relations officer. She's proven herself to be diligent, informed, and always dedicated to advocating for what was in the best interests of students, the absolute best interests. And uh, Jenna Goodman um, served as president of the Associate Students of Napa Valley College from 2013 to 2000, um, 2012 to, to 2013, excuse me, representing approximately 8,000 students. And today she attends UC Davis as a biological anthropology major studying biodiversity and ecology. She is currently a student liaison to the student regent um, to the UC Board of Regents, and at 28 years old, she will be the youngest candidate and the only woman on the ballot for Lieutenant Governor. Her experience growing up in a working class family in Vallejo reflects the daily struggles that most Californians are facing. Goodman's vision for a dream California includes free higher education, um, living wage green jobs, and protecting California from climate change. Um, with that, please join me in welcoming the future Lieutenant Governor of California, Jenna Goodman. Hello everyone. As Alex mentioned, my name is Jenna Goodman. I'm 28 years old and I'm the youngest and only woman candidate running for Lieutenant Governor. I'm a lifelong resident of Vallejo. I'm a graduate of Hogan High School and Napa Valley College and am currently a student at UC Davis studying biological anthropology. I'm a former public relations officer and president of Associated Students of Napa Valley College and a registered Green for the past two years. In my role as president of the Associated Students, I was able to facilitate campus-wide communication and give students a voice. I was also able to pass a sustainability policy, which is coming into fruition. Currently, Napa Valley College is working with its facilities department and creating administrative regulations to increase its sustainable practices and protect the local ecology on campus and the surrounding areas. I am currently a student liaison to the student regent to the UC Board of Regents. As an anthropology major, I have been taught the discipline of holism, which is the theory that parts of the whole are an intimate interconnection, such that they cannot exist independently of the whole or cannot be understood without reference to the whole, which is thus regarded as greater than the sum of its parts. I feel I am uniquely qualified for this position because I have a fresh perspective and can offer up new ways of thinking. I can inject new ideas into the stagnant world of Californian politics. I can also provide an intimate student's perspective on the current state of education. I am passionate about helping others and developing strong and sustainable leadership practices. As a student studying ecology at UC Davis, I can present the most cutting edge techniques in ecological conservation and restoration. As Lieutenant Governor, I will have the ability to influence and shape the policy is for the state of California. I will use my position as Lieutenant Governor on the University, Board, uh, University of California Board of Regents, California State University Board of Trustees, uh, Chair of the Commission of, for Economic Development and the State Lands Commission to promote a green vision for investing in free higher education to prepare workers for the green economy and manage and monitor climate change. I believe free higher education is possible and it has been done before. I would like to restore California's vision of free community and state colleges for all students as envisioned in the 1970s. Free education is key to breaking down barriers of inequality and facilitating access to the job market. Education provides us with the ability to critically analyze. I believe free higher... Um, education is also a piece of the puzzle to create sustainable green living wage jobs. I believe we need to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. I believe in small businesses and their importance in the local economies. We need to give back the spending power on the lower levels in order to regenerate a thriving economy. I also hope to manage and monitor climate change in California. California is one of the few Mediterranean zones on the planet and is home to many unique environments.
We must restore the delta and water systems to ensure and protect our environment. We must continue to invest in alternative energy sources and be a leader on the path to clean energy usage. This would also stimulate and create numerous jobs within the green marketplace. I also oppose fracking. Not only does it detract from research and investment in alternative energy sources, but it pollutes our groundwater and majorly expends available drinking water. In conclusion, I would like to encourage you all to vote for me for Lieutenant Governor. I am representing those whose voices are not being heard at the Capitol. I am a product of a working class and can see ways of improving the quality of life for you and your children. Thank you so much for coming out today. I'm looking forward to being able to serve you. Okay, um, at this time, I'd like to welcome any questions from either the press or the public. Yes. Why lieutenant governor? I, I want to run for lieutenant governor because it specifically is, is involved in shaping policy. So while I don't have much experience in making policy, I have some, um, I feel that being able to shape and influence it is a lot more beneficial than actually writing it. Jenna, how are you going to effectively uh, compete against candidates that have got a lot more money from big and more established political parties? Well, that's definitely one of the biggest challenges we'll face. I'm concentrating on college campuses, so that's community colleges, CSUs, and UCs across the state of California, and I'm also relying heavily on my connections with the Green Party. They've been able to facilitate um, a lot of, of uh, resources for me. Any other questions? Are there any specific policies you, you, you want to work on or the one Well, like I said, um, it, it is slightly lofty, but my, my biggest focus is trying to get education to be free for everyone. If that is possible, I think anything is possible, really. Um, but at, at this point, I don't have a specific policy in mind. You talk about uh, free education, um, looking at the California state budget, yes. things we're facing like the pension crisis. Yes. Do you have a specific plan to achieve that or is this just uh, sort of a general goal? Uh, there are a few pathways we can take. Um, we, can, we can reform Prop 13. We can also um, look at uh, taxation on, um, on, the, on oil extraction, yes. Um, you know, and I read our uh, state budget for this year, and Governor Brown actually proposes that there is extra money in the account for education in the budget. So obviously there's money there, and it's been done before, so I think that it's possible to happen again. Oh, I was just going to ask him, so what's different about the Green Party? Oh. <laughs> well, for me, the Green Party stands for social justice, and I think that is one of the biggest selling points for the Green Party. Um, there's so many forms of inequality happening today that you, going through the two-party system is just not a viable option in my opinion. The Green Party stands out for its platform and its policies. Yes. I got one more. Sure. Uh, you talk about not receiving money from corporate sponsors. Yes. Um, what is your position on uh, California United uh, Supreme Court decision and or legislation that can be done or put in place to uh, uh, Put limits or control campaign uh, finance campaign contributions. Would you be in favor of, of something along those lines? Well, I'm in favor of not having corporations uh, be able to directly donate to cam uh, campaigns. Um, I also feel a need to have the system be open for anybody who wants to run. So while there are limitations such as that, which I think are, are necessary, there's also a lot of roadblocks for candidates. I myself have, have faced a few. Um, for instance, they are, are uh, changing uh, requirements for banking accounts for campaign accounts, which can have you know a negative as well as a positive effect. So I think things like that really need to be looked at and thought about in the long run what they do when they enact these policies. Yes. Um, are you going to be also taking on a lot of young people with your campaign? Definitely. I, I'm hoping to set an example for people of my generation and younger um, I feel it's really necessary to reinvigorate the youth and get them interested in politics because it affects them in so many ways.
All right, any last questions? Yes. How about the MCLR, the uh, ballot initiative right now in the state to legalize marijuana by Colorado and Washington? My platform, as well as the platform of the Green Party, are in favor of legalizing marijuana. Um, you know, there, there definitely needs to be controls in place, you know, just like with any other substance that's used for medicinal purposes. But I do support um, medical marijuana. All right. Any last questions? All right, seeing no more questions, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Just thank you so much, everybody, for attending, and I really appreciate everyone's presence here. Thank you.